Can you drive to this one? This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the Suburban Redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. It's not much I can tell you. Just that these Elysian boys pay good, and I don't ask questions. So Elysian Fields builds the houses while the Suburban Redevelopment Fund foots the bill. Beer makes you see double, makes you feel single. You know the way, you can drive. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? What can you tell us about the travel tickets that you issued to the Steffens family? Steffens, uh, let me see, family of five, I think. Uh, trip by flying boat to Catalina Island. Tickets were issued last week and redeemed this weekend. The Sawyer family. Rosewood Avenue. Here they are, Stephens. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotions mailing list covers half of LA. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes? Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. And While the Stephens family was at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky? 
Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize they won? Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. I just wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great. Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? You like this fire, Herbert? Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. Sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. Will do, Lynch. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, detective. Why have you got such a hard on for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. There are house fires, Cole. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Carson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm gonna make this case. I'm gonna rub the department's nose in it. Help me or stay out of my way. You got it? Lynch says we should visit him at Fire Station 32. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut and you'll learn something about fires. You're behind the wheel. We came as soon as we could. We gotta have it. Lynch. Biggs, you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had a look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire? I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. This the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it's so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve, and the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events.
Good, your regulator's in position. Come on, Phelps. You need to get the arrangement right before we can reproduce the results. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's gonna ignite. Okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. Whew. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. Buddy, you drop something? That's him. That's the cop. Tried to poke me in the nose. Can you drive to this one? Show? The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? The guy's a freak. He loves fires. He's the kind of guy that we'd like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him. gonna look getting around in this thing, Paul. Case. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Ray Sick. You should find him in his office. Why is the word abbreviation? That's him, the dirty cop. I hope his wife takes him for all he's worth. New and improved model. 
They'll be selling these like hotcakes. You gotta be kidding. I could save all year and never afford that. I like you. People say I have no taste, but I like you. Rehab is for quitters. Do you think this lipstick's too light for my complexion? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70. Uh, let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. You've never had any problems with this heater. Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? It's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years, and then it perishes. So the guys' names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. I think you're lying, Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. What about Matthew Ryan? Uh, you know about Ryan, huh? All right. He's been in some trouble. I know that. He's done his time. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? I need guys, detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay. I'll get it for you. There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. I swear, this town is going straight to hell. She wants a five-star This is a long shot. Wedding. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R&I, cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. The hell? Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps badge twelve forty seven. How could I help, Detective? I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, Detective, run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter. Cutner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Varley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter, previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Ryan Matthew. 
charged for contempt of court, attempted murder, plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. Rehab is for quitters. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and 3rd. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and 1st Street. Varley, where is he? Beverly and Mariposa, currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do, but my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show them and keep quiet. There are three kinds of people. Those who can count and Here. those who can't. Happy now? Stick around, Mr. Rasick. Clemens is a fellow traveler. Some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? My company went through thousands of these in the war, still got eaten alive. Barley has a problem with bugs. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps? That's him. That's the cop. He tried to poke me in the nose. The main reason Santa's so jolly...
Well, you don't see that every day. You know the way. You can drive. <laughs> Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Let's just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Hold it, Ryan. I said, son of a bitch. Those are GI's backyards he's crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one-man wrecking ball. Move in. I'll take out the bear. He's in a company van and he's losing us, Cole. Some partner I got. He's going to kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear him coming. Close in, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down with Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Let's just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Hold it, Ryan. I said, son of a bitch. Those are GI's backyards he's crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one-man wrecking ball. Move in. I'll take out the man. He's going to kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear him coming. Close in, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. Keep talking. Someday you'll say something intelligent. Give it up, LAPD. Why did you run, Ryan? I was scared. You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. 